फोर थ्री टू वन वी आर लाइव नाउ गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी वेलकम यू ऑल टू ऑर्थो टीवी एंड दिस इज दी कंक्लूडिंग एपिसोड एपिसोड फोर माइंड स्पेस and to introduce today's topic and the speaker i hand over to our host and convener professor dr asim parekh thank you neeraj thank you very much uh today is the concluding episode of uh, conversations with a mahanubhav those of you who have been here for three of the last four sunday morning have already got a sense of the essence of the greatness of this man mr madhav choudhary fsc and more as a surgeon certainly his life his background early struggle coming to term so many influences in his life and how he has come to the place where he is not today but we go back 14 years to the year 2008 as 14 years ago nana sahib made a very conscious well thought out and a considered decision to hang up his surgical boots so uh, today we are going to ask nanas why did you hang up your boots when you were still at the top of the surgical game and in today's concluding episode all the different facets of this man which have been polished over the years and which make it possible for us to experience him as he is today namaskar nana saheb and welcome to episode 4 good morning good morning sir so like i was introducing to the audience some 14 years ago you made a conscious decision a very well thought out decision uh to hang up your surgical you were still uh, as you are today 14 years ago certainly physically and mentally perfectly fit to carry on with your surgical work surgical practice you were very active in your surgical practice even 14 years ago in 2008 so what went or what was the thought process when you decided to stop or retire to use the bad word from surgical practice nana said ah uh, same so i told last uh, episode concluding part around 2008 when i was uh, 50 years operating so at the age of 80 i just took a stock one day that is it really fair for me to continue with the type of surgery which i started in 58 surgery has changed a lot and then my hospital responsibility was well taken over the financial aspect of it the the patient load and all that by milin and his wife punam and my brother in law and sister in law so i thought that why must i continue doing the surgery which now today is taken over by a totally laparoscopic and minimalization and minimal excess surgery and all that why must you must you go on and then i i remembered my friend vijay merchant when he retired from cricket he always used to say vijay bhai that it is better that you retire when people ask you why are you retiring you look fit and vijay bhai he said that is the time to retire rather than asking by people ki kare retire to sabai ba gana thai gaya enough is enough and so, so many things bucket list type that's why i retired in 2008 so uh, you, you were involved in many activities as i understand it uh, social work activities on your own through local ngos uh, through an agency or an organization like the rotary club even before you retired so was the thought that having contributed in terms of surgery uh, for for whatever fulfillment it gave you as a healer as a helper to spend more time more effectively uh, 
in areas which we had already done work in, and especially uh, with all the self honesty you acknowledged that perhaps the way certain surgeries are done is different now. So let them get on with it, and at the same time, uh, your infrastructure you made sure that kept uh, in step with whatever was the latest. So were they the same agencies? Was that the reason that you wanted to devote more and more time? No, once having decided to uh, stop active surgical consultations and operating sessions, uh, during these 50 years from 58 to 2008, it is most surprising that in a place like Akola, I could indulge in so many activities which many of the interviews and many of the writings writers mentioned me as a man with many facets, a man with diverse interest. In Marathi, they wrote article he is an Ashtapailu Vyaktimatva. So I was just considering that all these eight things that people think I do besides my profession. Uh, I used to do that and then people wondered that how does he find time as a busy surgeon? And my answer was 24 hours. Enough time if you have a proper time management and if you love to do something, you can find time. So let us take a stock of what I did, what people consider eight facets in my extra professional life. The first and foremost was... Sir, this was up to 2008 while you were still in active practice? Yes, yes, yes. Maximum yeah, work yeah. Please, and please. Maximum work was done during those 50 years. And last now from 2008, 14 years comparatively, the, the field is getting narrowed because of physical constraints, period like COVID and my COVID. abilities and all that. Yes. But but during 50 years, it is amazing how I could do all this institutional work, IMA and Rotary. Now, if you consider IMA, we, our family was IMA. Kakasai was an ardent family IMA worker. He was, the, he was the president of Indian Medical Association in Madhya Pradesh twice. And when the state of Maharashtra was called out, unanimously Bombay and everybody came to him and said, you are the proper doyan to become the first president of IMA of Maharashtra state. He became senior vice president. So when I joined in 58, in two years, I became secretary. In four years, I became president of IMA Akola because we are a very small group of 30 IMA members, eligible allopathic doctors. So, so what I did in those days also with my background of KEM, JS Medical College with England, organizing capacity. Even in 1959, I organized a two-day CME program. Six days each, the dawn of medical people brought to Akola. And for six districts around Akola, 300 people attended. And the names, you will be surprised. I had R.N. Cooper. I had Agnes Borges. I had B.N. Bonnie Purandare. I had Shirodkar. I had R.V. Sate. I had N.S. Wadia. I had... Uh, uh, pathology professor Purandari and whatnot. So, you know, in IMA also, I, I inculcated this concept of service to our medical profession. And there I did vasectomy come. That was the time when India was all into it, uh, control of population. So through IMA, I conducted such a large number of camps. It was not only a good social work, if you call it, or national work, demography for India, Diagnostic Shibirs, and even a group of 35 of us, I was one of them to take part in the building of IMA, the first IMA in India, even before Delhi and Bombay, to have its own building. Of course, Kakasai was the chairman of the building. I became the organizing secretary for Maharashtra State IMA in 1970. All the big stalwarts came over to Akola in the university campus of Akola. I became the vice president of Maharashtra State. And my career in IMA got totally stopped because I had differences with the management. I was keen believer that allopathy cannot just survive in India with one degree course. Why not have licentiate course which Britishers have started? So I had those views and I even pursued that when I got the pro political leverage and, and position in politics. I restarted the licentiate course in Maharashtra for three years because my guru was a licentiate, Dr. Baliga. 
and i think that in, uh, degree doesn't matter in life people talk about double frcs can you believe i seen that i practice without without putting up any board with my qualifications that i am double frcs it was just choudhury hospital so that was my ima career in the rotary so i was very lucky coming back from england the rotary elite in those days in 1958 rotary international creation of uh, the american concept in india followed by all the british uh, officers and this akola had its own rotary club in from 1945 in 1958 i was invited in the first week to talk on rotary and in those days without television without any other means the talks in rotary were the main highlights in any social life you remember in mumbai the rotary club meeting tuesday taj mahal hotel the speaker next day that the times of india used to have the full coverage so i gave a lecture on my experience in uk and i became a member after their formalities completed and at a very young age i was chosen unanimously to lead the district in maharashtra and madhya pradesh what we call the unit of rotary international can you believe my predecessors i was governor in 73 74 my predecessor 71 72 was no other than shantilal mehta at the age of 72 the next year was mr c v jog chairman of bank of maharashtra on the background of this elderly gentleman leading the rotary world in maharashtra and india and international level here was a young lad of 41 a surgeon and yet by his work in rotary club of akola i was chosen to lead in akola i created three big landmarks i conducted a big project flood affected area right from the world go the floods to three years rehabilitation which was acknowledged by rotary international i went to andhra cyclone not just check writing i took a team of five people with lot of material collected from the town people a big rally was taken out two days in the truck and people gave all the clothes all the utensils all the cash and i carried that personally going to andhra establishing a camp and visiting those areas affected and giving them their daily necessities that was highly acclaimed by andhra government in those days and and rotary international and then my 50th birthday my wife devani she organized a project for look well baby plastic surgery was just upcoming and then our gossimek dr ravin thatte and another gossimek anesthetist krishna joshi they came as a voluntary work to akola operated on 28 patients it helped the local surgeons by that time around 12 of them to watch plastic surgery repair of hair lip and what not and the anesthetist got a hang of how to give anesthesia to children and then a public lecture now this project was significant achievement award that i got i was selected to represent india's continent on the legislative action of rotary in chicago and i was one of those who had vision that why must rotary be all men organization so women's entry into rotary we had proposed and as a proposer one of the proposers i was asked to speak on it for 13 minutes it took another 2 years for rotary world to accept that women can also be professionally qualifying and interest in social work and today you will be happy that after my efforts and other efforts today rotary international has got its first lady president of rotary international then second thing was why should rotary be an urban organization india is all villages why we should go to village and work for them you know ye dehat ke log hai ki tum log kab aayenge aur hum log aisa hi rahenge i said no i want participation of the villagers so i asked rotary international to have an organization called rotary village corps rvc later on the word village was changed to rotary community corps they don't pay anything to ri they are sponsored by a nearby rotary club and instead of adoption adoption mein kya hota hai asim ji तुम बच्चे को अडॉप्ट करते हैं उसको गोद पर लेते हैं और वो तुम्हारे सर पर बैठता है तुम लाखों रुपया का उसको वारिश बनाते हैं और वो लाखों का बारह हजार कर डालता है सो माय कंसेप्ट वाज वी वर्क विद देम सो आई हैड ह्यूज फंड अवेलेबल टू मी एज आरसीसी फाउंडेशन चेयरमैन माय कंसेप्ट वॉज फिफ्टीन ऑफ द मनी शुड कम फ्रॉम दैट विलेज थर्टी फ्रॉम द रोटरी क्लब एंड फिफ्टी फ्रॉम माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई ट्रेवल्ड ए लॉट 
and I did all that work. I was invited to address a gathering of 17,000 people in Rome Rotary Convention annual to talk on my work as a district government in this area's 5,000 eye operations. Rotary cares for those who cannot see. And who was sitting by my side on the stage? Sir John William Wilson, President of Royal Society for Commonwealth for Blind. The work in India done by Vijay Merchant and Rajendra Vyas and others. They have a national workshop in, uh, in Varali. You know, I traveled a lot. United States, Bahrain, Rome Convention, Australia, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangkok, Trinidad, all by invitation for Rotary International, sharing my experience. And I'm very happy to say that my alma mater, which all has a very nice motto of norm city set on the bus, not for self, for others. That is what Rotary is all about, service of ourselves. So we Gossimex shared our, our talents, time and treasure and led Rotary districts wherever you are in India. Do you know the list? It starts from one Dr. Joshi from Hubei. His son also later on became Rotarian and became governor. Then our Ganeshan, professor of medicine, our Gossimek, whom Baliga sent at Manipal, KP Ganeshan. Then Badar Maskati, ophthalmic surgeon, Shiri Shet, then Bharat Pandya from Bombay, the, the laparoscopic surgeon. Then Bal Inandar, Kolotkar from Dembili, Naik from Goa, R.B. Patil from Hubli. All these Gossumaks became governors in Rotary International, serving the areas in India. So I'm very proud to be a Rotarian. And besides working in Rotary Club, what does my club give to the town? I believe in being a catalyst. That's what all Rotary and social work is all about. So we created institutions which are now carrying on the work in that field in the city of Akola and around. We started Jeshta Nagrik Sangh, Senior Citizens Organization. It's a huge organization. So I was one of the pioneers in starting that. And in Akola, we had that institution. The Garden Club, the Rose Society of Akola, affiliated to Indian Rose Society, the Blind School of Akola, the, the colony raised for flood affected people, 80 houses built as Rotary and our efforts from the community. The skating ring for Akola, the Aero Modeling Club of Akola and Youth Hostel. So I'm very happy that just besides being a just club, people have wrong concept about club. Khate pite hai. I tell people don't bother about our venue and menu. See where we go to the community. That is what Rotary belongs to. Rotary is where we work for the people. If you meet in a hotel, that is just for getting together to starting, but it is not a luncheon club. It is not what like George Bernard Shah, where is Rotary going? Rotary is going for lunch. I changed the whole concept of Rotary. So uh, these sir, are some of the facets which had started and also grown uh, during your active surgical practice. Uh, the IMA certainly, and uh, Rotary International. Because uh, that uh, interaction with other doctors, uh, third is uh, the licentiate examination uh, against whatever odds they were at that time. One lovely word which you've used is catalyst. Although you mentioned it in a particular context about the Rotary, I find more and more that I am in connect with you. Sir, you have been the catalyst for so many events, uh, not only in your living, your life, but also in the people you came across uh, who are looking perhaps for a direction, who are looking perhaps for some kind of advice. Uh, whatever you said at that time, even if you are formally not their mentor, you served as a catalyst in their lives. Uh, now, sir, you must permit me to ask you, uh, we have a word, like you said, Ashta uh, Pehlu. Uh, uh, we also have a word which is uh, for a person who is, I'll get the word, I'm not getting it somehow right now, uh, Mahanubhav. Mahanubhav. So you would have been that for a lot of people, we would like to hear from me, uh, from you, we would like to hear who are the Mahanubhavs, who you deem as Mahanubhavs, you came across in your life 
and here i seek your indulgence prior to 2008 and thereafter also if you will sir i i was just coming to it as i met the oh. personalities i call them himalaya ke shikhar the peaks of himalaya ah. himalaya is our ideal all of us cannot climb but we can have their darshan so i have a book now which is coming up 30 personalities from indian subcontinent in different walks of life whom i had direct one to one interaction sharing the stage on them talking on topics and they hearing me applauding me expressing about my work it is not just that i have heard them and the list goes on right from the field of politics atal bihari bashpai number 1 number 2 the uh, golwalkar guruji of rss i was the chief guest of rss function at nagpur at a very tender age of 45 a record now all along they are being having people with great industrialist and thinkers and writers and social workers as their chief guest then i had sam manish maniksha at my conference in rotary the one of the best conferences ever had by rotary international where more than 50% of the members they had registered 50% of the members registered for the conference not their spouses or anything the members and sam manishka spoke there and what happened he uttered that if india needs i am available like de gaulle after 3 months the cbi and the cids came to me and asked me sir in a function like this in mumbai you were the chief organizer you were the governor is it that you had maniksha and did he say like this i realized that what was coming because that was indira who was perturbed by that i cleverly told them yes i was leading the district i was leading the conference but you know the organizing committee was from bombay so whatever they had done about recording and all that you better go there and i referred them back to them but then i remember sam we met not only that but then over the dinner and cocktails in the evening then we had personalities like hasham prem ji father of azam and his wife azam's mother hasham's wife is dr gul banu i am not whether i am not sure whether she is gossamer but she must be gossamer because she having married an industrialist like hasham prem ji and and son like azam and now the grandchild she conduct she was one of the instrumental in starting the srcc society for rehabilitation of crippled children and i have a photograph which shows dr baliga is one of the uh, uh, committee member sitting with her gulbanu prem ji then all the dignitaries in the politics in the literary work in the uh, music work in the actors so many personalities i met including our medical professionals so uh, with every person you met a particular facet or a pehlu got polished or buffed that much more so today i would say that you are a shining example of what is possible if an individual puts his mind to it any specific instances now for this episode over the last 14 years which you would like to recount when you didn't have to get up and go to the uh, opd or go into the operation theater when your time perhaps for the first time was entirely your own so any any specific instances from these proteins yes sir? yes you are right uh, about my oratory in gs medical college i was not an orator at all i was a sportsman as i told last episode twice i was runner up and three times consecutive champion tennis i used to play table tennis badminton and all that but oratory was not my domain so i'm coming back from england also not that but i came to akola in the town and we so many functions organized in my honor and every time asked to speak and being in rotary every weekly meeting and then district level and what not i became a good orator but i considered bashpai as my guru he was called to akola 
as a janasangha president and the citizens of akola gave him a purse in those days of 11000 rupees only because janasangha took a long time from two members in the parliament to now what narendra bhai has achieved on their own 300 and plus members in parliament so i was asked to be the president of that function as a young surgeon in akola to give this thaili the funds to atal ji and i had to bring him from nagpur by car in the car bajpai as we approach akola started muttering something so i asked bajpai ji atal ji aap kya bol rahe ho soch raha hu akola ja raha hu kiski yaad karu kya bolu kya nahi to maine bola you have to think all that unhone mere taraf dekha bole doctor saab if you want to be a good orator always prepare your talk consider who is going to be your audience where are you talking prepare yourself properly think of the humor be brief so whatever orator today people consider nana saheb choudhury in this area i consider bashpai as my guru so every time i am asked to speak on a subject i prepare the subject now with internet today it is very easy for me to get the knowledge but to be on that stage and to consider what it is it is like sachin tendulkar going to bat has a look around here and there sees what is the current position what is the position he has come about and on the first ball you have to hit a, a boundary then the people's interest is created all my talk starts with some line which i get opening line somewhere what i am on the stage what is happening around or in the current politics and all so that is how i develop my oratory all along so in 50 years akola nana saheb choudhury was the main figure so as i call people call me ki ye aadmi din bhar spotlight mein rehta hai operation theater ke aur sham ko aur raat ko aur other time sees in the other auditoriums in the spotlight again whether it is inauguration function can you believe how many hospitals and dispensaries i have opened how many big doctors felicitation took place at my hand i am very happy about it because they considered a function with nana saheb as one of the person to be there the the function ki izzat badhti hai that is how they they acknowledge that this man deserves to be with our chief guest or speaker or a, a president of the function and all that the second is swami chinmayananda i am ardent in adhyatma section i will tell you i am chinmay mission man in akola very very active worker chinmay ji came to akola number of times and either i was inaugurating the gnana yajna of gita or being the president and all that and chinmay ji used to have a system that for food he used to be invited by people he called it bhiksha can you imagine the saints calling we call him social dinner ki hamare yahan dinner par aa jao swami ji aajkal ke swami ji bhiksha nahi bolte but swami chinmay and always call it bhiksha तो हमारे घर में भिक्षा के लिए आए थे एंड ही आस्क मी माय फादर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टेल मी हाउ डिड यू प्रोड्यूस सच ए ब्रिलियंट बॉय फादर कुड नॉट आंसर ही वाज हैप्पी विद हिम व्हाट आई हियर आई इमीडिएटली रिप्लाइड सर ही माइट हैव प्रोड्यूस मी बट द संस्कार हैज बीन गिवन बाय माय मदर सो आई गिव ऑल द रिस्पेक्ट टू माय मदर जस्ट एज आई गिव रिस्पेक्ट टू माय वाइफ टुडे देवयानी 67 इयर्स ऑफ मैरिड लाइफ टुगेदर that is what life is all about so chinmay ji used to write down later after going back i followed that hundreds of visits to various places going to their houses for lunch dinner breakfast staying with them i followed that system of writing with my own handwriting today it's a whatsapp a letter thanks giving letter and people appreciated that i learned that from chinmay ji i learned from my 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 very close friend gadi madgulkar the valmiki of indian marathi literature who gave us geeta ramayan he wrote three poems from me for rotary what we are doing such wonderful poems people can't believe that he writes instantly as i told him that gadima that you write a poem on this facet of rotary that what is all rotary about and he writes a poem people knew us by what we do in the big hotels venue and menu but what we are actually are and instantly he writes ya ram sanjave ee din sampala smarava 
When a sokta bhogalila ananda atavava. What a line, what a line. And don't go by what we eat and drink. Just judge us by what work we do for community. Then I talked about the youth. And instantly this great poet writes its poetry in front of me in Pune. Writes a poetry. Yuvakaho vishva udyase tumatse. Jeje amuse te te tumatse hu ilo. You know, you know, all this sort of episodes, meeting such big dignitaries. So as I told you, there's a big list. I don't want to go through it just now. But as the time comes along, I have met so many people. In Bahrain, I had lunch and dinner with the Sultan of Bahrain, just because of Rotary. In Nepal, I, I had a, a privilege to meet directly the King of Nepal because of Rotary, my work. So the list is big, but I cannot boast that I have met so many people, but as you say, I learned from something by each visit and by which association of those persons. Mukesh was my great friend. He sang for me. And I used to sing. He said, why don't you sing with me? So can you believe that I sang at Shanmukhananda Hall in one Rotary conference and the busy bee used to write from for Indian Express. And he wrote a small column. Other day, Shanmukhananda Hall witnessed a very unique situation. One man made 1,700 people stand up and sing together. And that was my Rotary song. I was known as the singing governor. And I sang a wonderful song which I picked up in America. Sing, everyone sing. Sing, everyone sing. Let us come together in all kinds of weather. Sing, everyone sing. So can you imagine 1700 people holding their hands and clapping? So that was recognized even by, by the journalist in those days. Sir, we would like to enter for a moment your own mind space and share with us, if you will, share with us your thoughts in the year 2008, when you said now, no more active surgical practice, this part of my life. What were your thoughts, sir? It was a conscious decision. It was a considered decision. It was a perhaps a planned decision, at least planned in so much as what you are going to do after that. So what were your thoughts? The first thing was that now I don't have to get up go to the outdoor, conduct a big outdoor, operate, and then take care of them because by that time, ICUs had come about. So surgeons were very easy. They had good anesthetics, everything. So the first thing was the leisure. How am I going to spend? So I sat down and wrote, wrote down my bucket list. The first thing I realized that now I can be more frequent visits outside in Nakola for all the functions. Then more visits to USA and every visit producing a book writing there with leisure, meeting with my family in, in, in USA. More assignments and functions in Akola and around people. And then I took up Jirnodhar of Naneshwar Mandir, one of the only ones still. Today, you know, as I call, jaise doctor ki practice badalti hai, or public mein unka naam badalta hai, vaise deities ka bhi aajkal naam badalne laga hai. Abhi koi Ram Krishna ko paishanta nahi hai. Abhi to God mein aage hai. Kabhi Sai Baba, kabhi Shegao Shirdi and what not. You know, but in Naneshwar Mauli is our deity or the family. My father was a great devotee. He built a small temple. I enlarged it. Three years I took, went around people, collected people and made a huge Jirnodhar with additional floor space available. I conducted Samskar Varga for children. If there is a Sunday school in the churches, why not the temple be the source of creating a generation, not just by religion? I always used to tell people, I don't want you to be religious. I want to be righteous. I don't want you to believe in ethnic group, in America, I used to say. I want you to believe in ethics. And I don't want you to grow up as a person who go by the price of a thing, go by the value of a thing. So, Sanskar Varga for children, of age group of 5 to 12. And every sanskar varga, one hour, I used to have yoga, I used to have singing slokas, I used to give them stories, and I used to ask them to read books, give them books, and also give them some prasad. 
So at a time, about 100 people, children used to assemble. And knowing my ability to communicate with them, number of organizations asked me to conduct those sanskara vargas for that age group. I even conducted two weddings in Vaidik Paddat. I nephew I don't want a professional priest to do my wedding, solemnize. Aap karo, I will get you ordained. So he got me ordained order and I did puja, well, samskar, paurahitya. And then my grandson, the first grandson, also asked me to conduct his wedding in Costa Rica. And then I had another person to translate all that in Spanish. So it was a wonderful thing that you talk about Indian wedding rituals and mantras and it was translated into Spanish. So all this I could do because I was totally free from this. And then came the real, real thing. Thanks to Milin and my son Sushur. One day, Milin comes to me and says that in my outpatient department, people come to me for knee joint, for cervical spine and backache. 80% of the women are obese and 60% of the men are obese. I said, Milin, kya baat karta hai? He says, come and sit with this counter. 8.30, I sat there till the outdoor was there. And sure enough, there were almost 80% of the women were obese. Many of them had other comorbidities like blood pressure, thyroid. And that started me to think, what is this science of obesity? I myself was a big jadya. But I thought I was fit. Diabetes is in our family. My father, maturity onset diabetes. My mother, diabetic. I, I declared myself diabetic with my friend, Dr. R.D. Lele, who just passed away recently. He was a great friend of mine. So every time I used to have GTTs and it was high and he would say, either you control with your diet, exercise, or you start medicine. For many years, I postponed taking medicine. Then I realized that I should, in, when I indulge, that is a common experience. People eat sweets not because they are diabetic, but they are diabetic because they eat sweets, whatever which comes first, argi or uh, anda ya murgi. So then I started taking medicines myself. Then my third son, Sushrut, he's a travel agent, 132, highly stressed, running travel agency diabetes and hypertension, booked himself for a bariatric surgery. So it started thinking, I told him, give me 10 days. I met all the bariatric surgeons on WhatsApp and telephone, my friends, because that's a new thing that they are getting now, laparoscopic surgeon, bariatric surgeon. Pet kato. Ham log peptic ulcer se pet kaatte the. What was the result? Anemia, loss of weight, what not? So I started thinking that why cut somebody's stomach? What is obesity is all about? And then I came with literature and whatnot and then realized the ratio of carbohydrate insulin. The great Jiskar, minister in Maharashtra, man with 32 degrees. He was the first person to talk about carbohydrate insulin ratio. And therefore, now obesity has become a big, big event. Many people are thriving. Many products are thriving. So I, in 2016, <coughs> took up to nutrition lifestyle management. The pahila prayog khud par kiya. Control diabetic, control hypertension, weight wonderful 80 for a man of 5 feet 11. So I resorted to intermittent fasting and low carbohydrate diet. Remember, IF, intermittent fasting, and low carb, LC. Not high fat, but just moderate fat and moderate protein. And then started writing about it, practice on myself. Today, I am weighing only 63 kgs. My diabetic tablets have stopped. My blood pressure tablets have stopped. I walked till my, I got my uh, virus infection. Uh, about in, uh, uh, January 21, I was walking every day about 8,000 steps. So I started practicing that, writing articles, consultations for obesity and diabetes. So that is my fourth inning. 
that is my fourth inning and number of people have reversed their diabetes just by controlling their carbohydrate content and exercise and what not so this inning of mine which has come up so late but i am feeling very happy to be a doctor you are doing only therapeutic thing but to be a person to tell people why take medicine you take medicine metabolic disorders are all man made trauma chhod do trauma chhod do virus chhod do infection but all other 10 diseases are all metabolic disorders man created lifestyle diseases right up to starting from diabetes blood pressure alzheimer kidney problems cancer dementia all these are connected with metabolic disorders so i am practicing that writing articles taking lectures obesity clinics so this was how it started post retirement what remains <laughs> the way you speak and from your face clearly to me at least you are a man who is fulfilled in life what remains sir no you know i i wrote about nine books literally every time i decided ki kuch na kuch karna hai boss yes the personalities i have met during this tenure was the first book that i published was on my life paul kimaya starting from 1929 my birth up to my 60th year ajit phadke was the chief guest on that occasion another gossamic then i read wrote a book on sukhi mansa cha sadra sukhi mansa cha sadra yeah is there something like a shirt i can wear and become happy so what is the consideration for being happiness sukhi mansa cha sadra then then i turned to ravindranath tagore i tried to understand bengali and english gitanjali and studied it properly and translated his poems 103 poems for which he got nobel into marathi gitanjali then i started writing about madhushala bachchan's father i completed that in marathi the publisher said it's a hot spot unless you get a permission from amitabh the great man we cannot publish it so i was just thinking and one day milin rings me up he said nana you are asking for permission from somebody for your book i said milin thank you you remember what your father is doing old man he says what you know that person is in front of me amitabh bachchan i operated one of his patients and flash up a moment i realized that you have done something and you are waiting for permission he talks to mr bachchan my father is 85 year old he has done your madhushala in marathi he wants permission dr saab aadhe ghante mein unko message mil jayega aadhe ghante mein message aaya permission and granthali publisher published my madhushala in marathi a great work that i have done madhushala then i started writing about gnaneshwari a gift from my father and mother so i wrote a book on ekatri ovi gnaneshwari then i started writing about books so in all i published eight or nine books literary work and now i am publishing a work on obesity obesity latta so like this the literary work started along with this because of the time that i got along and then so from from 7 years ago sir i have a request if you can whatever your marathi translation is of sun kal kal chal chal madhugat se girti pyalo me hala sun run jhun run jhun mere paas kitab nahi hai mere ko paath nahi hai abhi wo sab but okay, okay. i will definitely right. no, because the other one is also lovely the actual start chote se jeevan me kitna pyar karu pilu hala so i mean it is it is amazing harivansh rai uh, bachchan sahab uh, being a teetotaler all his life uh, came up with uh, such glorious description you remember of love I, life heartbreak amitabh so when he heard about my book after he gave me permission for that book i yeah. he was he invited me at his house and we had a big session over there and i have picture with him amitabh bachchan ji and i wanted that book marathi poetry to be inaugurated and financed by him 
to have a uh, songs in Marathi. I even yeah. had a director Anand Modak and singers Ravindra Sathe and Vibhavari Joshi. But some other Amitab, I thought he was a man with a lot of, uh, I don't know. I mean, he didn't see much in it, so he didn't want to. And I didn't want to spend money on such projects. My book was there, but then. Some songs were sung by very famous people, Ravindra Sathe and Vibhavari, and that Madhushala. You know, Madhushala is a philosophy. Your 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 piala, the 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 glass represents your life. Life the represents the main vigor in your life, and and the bartender is the destiny. It is a highly philosophical book. So I wrote Madhushala. In general, I have written about ten books. Wrote a book for Rotary International, Jyot Antarichi, the Kindle, the Spark Within, as a fundraiser for Rotary International. So you know, I have written about twelve to thirteen books, and my latest one is coming on obesity. Let me answer. This so though much is taken, much remains, and uh, we look forward to. Uh, not only appreciating but putting into practice uh, whatever it is you continue to serve up before us uh, for personal fulfillment certainly but uh, for the fulfillment and the benefit of uh, should i say sufferers no of uh, people at large population at large because those who are able to pick up from this certainly some of them would be in a position to apply it not only in their lives but uh, to enhance the quality of the lives of others From anything the, else sir a, a parting message perhaps no the 2016 onwards i am purely practicing as a person for obesity and diabetes right a clinic yeah regular holding camps regular writing articles in press and therefore you see i consider along this life i was honored by a number of organization but the most thing that i value is my own alma mater gs medical college they honored me with the presentation of hirwai award which was instituted in honor of the pharmacology professor late i just uh, forget about the name it sharadini dahanukar in her memory he was a professor of pharmacology Yes. I, I I value very much honored by Lokmanya Tilak, Bombay Medical Foundation, Sushruta Award, then Rotary International Service Above Self Award, then Tapasvi Award from Pune, Sharda Dhanupit, Loka Arogya Seva Tapasvi Award, and then some local awards. So all these came along by a variety of work, diversity of interest. a surgeon with diverse interest in life right from the service organization of rotary in akola over the years right from the beginning i was means still sought after for all the functions as a chief guest as a speaker and the subjects vary from very anything literary work health issues and then i was very lucky to be publicly honored at my 60th birthday when vn shrikhande was the chief guest shastabdh purti samarambha on my 75th birthday amrita mahotsav our own gosamek ravi bapat he was the chief guest on my 80th birthday one industrialist in pune who considered me as as his father fatherly figure he organized a function and religious thing which is, which is called Eightieth Sahastra Chandra Darshan, and now at ninetieth, our own Gosimek, Dr. Bharat Pandya, Director of Rotary International, at his hands I was honored in Akola by the citizens of Akola for my ninetieth birthday. So, these are all the things which come about. I am very happy that I have left in Akola, in the permanent form, Surgical Department of Ayurvedic College. there i learned a very nice thing what we surgeons are doing operation the man who came for inauguration of the operation theater where i was the first surgeon to start in ayurved college 
He said, Doctor, do you know the word operation? It is nothing but a Sanskrit apabhramsha. A para isha na. Iske upar bhagwan ke siwai kuch nahi hai karke operation karo. It should be the last resort. A para isha na. That is operation. So surgical department of Ayurvedic College started a municipal hospital, Bharatiya Hospital. A gift. One of my patients, my father's patient, gave one lakh of rupees in those days to municipal corporation. Taking the leaf from Bombay Municipal Corporation, I started a municipal hospital, 25 bedded, as a first surgeon in Akola. I started the senior citizens organization in Maharashtra and in Akola, along with RM Bhatt of Rotary Dombivli. I started the laughter club in Akola. Every day when you walk, get together and laugh out with various actions. So you do the physical activity as well as laughter with secrets endorphins. I did the Jirnodhar of Naneshwar Mandir, enlarge it to a big capacity. I did Surgical Society, founder of Surgical Society of Akola. When I started in Akola, I had nothing, nothing, nothing except patients, patients, patients. My life story goes about how I went about collecting people around me, the anesthetists. My friend Bhojra helped me out. But till then, my father gave the first chloroform to my patient way back in 1958. So, Surgical Society of Akola. And therefore, I always feel that how could I do this fulfillment? boss? It all happened because one thing, my parents' chhatra, mata pita ka chhatra hone se. I lived with my parents as a grown-up person, those who are fortunate today to have their parents, Tensa Chhatra, umbrella, guidance, blessings, you are a better person in your life, which I had. Father lived up to 94. Mother, unfortunately, I did not understand obesity, diabetes. I, otherwise, I would not have allowed her to die by complications. The slow pace of Akola life. I am happy I am not in a rat race in a Bombay. I am a district surgeon who was. But you go to Mahalakshmi racing, usme ek derby hoti hai, wo Bombay Valley ke liye hai. But other races bhi hoti hai. To my district surgeon ka race run kiya lifelong. And I proudly say that I may not be the first one, but I am among the first because there are a number of like me, all over spread out in Sholapur, Nasik, Nagpur, idhar udhar. Those who are not connected with medical institution. Ab to har jage medical college ho gaya. Har jage medical college ho gaya hai. So, I got all the love and affection of people as a son of the soil. Bahut prem diya, bahut adar diya, bahut sanman diya, bahut bada admi bana diya. In Akola, I am sought after as one of the speaker for function. Not because I am a big hasti, but that function has dignity because that 20 minute short speech as an orator, I make the whole function bada at a higher level. So very well sought after man. Professionally very peaceful life in Akola. Nobody was my competitor. There was my complimentary, my colleagues with that attitude, ethical practice. Time management. 24 ghande boss, you can do anything. Din mein operation theater mein rehta hai admi, sham ko theater mein dikhta hai, floodlight mein. Kabhi baat karta hai, lecture deta hai, preside karta hai. Free from toxic environment. Hawa, pani, no restaurants in those days, no alcohol business, nothing. And better half, Sir Dharma Charani, Devayaniji. In every step, in England, trying to learn operating technique, in Akola, going to NITI, Pawai Institute for Hospital Management Training, and ran my hospital for 50 years, retired. Three children, Milin Srikan, he's a uh, computer man in America, and Sushru, who is a travel agent. So, very balanced life, fulfillment in life, and as I call you, Sanskrit, Santushtoham, Santushtoham, Krutadnyoham, Krutartoham, Punaf Punah. So God gave me an opportunity. I always said that Pitaji is so big, he is so big, he is so big, he is so big, he is There are many examples. I have examples of 30 surgeons whose children did not even come up to the expectation. Unless you have a good family life, and children brought up in this atmosphere. I am very proud of Milin. Today in orthopedic section, he is known all over the country, in the world. The first man to do Elizarov technique. 
and my granddaughters now, Ishani and Janaki and so on, all into medicine, all because of this tradition of the family. But above and all, believe in yourself, simple life, high thinking. A countryman, a Dehati surgeon, started in 1958. Lukone Bhot son of the soil. I might not have got as much recognition as I would have got in Mumbai, but I got peace of life, peace of mind, a good health. And now with this new technique of how people should not become metabolically disordered, obesity, diabetes, I am still relevant to the society, still trying to serve society in a manner, in a different manner. You don't have to operate all your life. Ekbar, my colleague, neurosurgeon, Madhav, you have to retire. I have to go to the theater and sit in the theater. I told him, boss, I am not such a man. If the patient comes to my name, then I will do operation. I will not say that I have to do this operation. So at 80, I took out my gloves. No regrets. You can serve people by taking out their surgery. It's a very simple job, boss. If you have a tumor, you can repair the hernia, repair the hernia, and do it with laparoscopy. But to tell people how not to be sick, with your own example, of 93, your weight, your diabetes control without tablets, your hypertension control without your tablets, your seven steps to health, a good sleep, S, avoid SOS, salt, oily fried stuff, and sugar, SOS. The third is SOS, resort to the smoothies, the greens, green revolution, non carbohydrate index, no carbohydrates, smoothies, soups, and salads. Your spirituality. Dhyan karo, meditation. Kya dhyan karna hai? Dhyan karo apne tabiyat ke upar. Tera dhyan ki dar hai, mera dhyan mere upar hai. So verbalization, visualization, and affirmation. Do the meditation type. And do social service. If you do social service, your coronaries dilate. You don't get blockages. I have refrained people from getting operated for stents or bypass operation after they were told to get or having had their own angiographies. Change your lifestyle. These are lifestyle diseases. Change your lifestyle. And they remain free of symptoms. Are you block the height? Just because technology allows you to show the blocks. You are living with your blocks. The episode of chest pain and all this temporary. You change your lifestyle. Bajan kam karo. आहार में बदल करो, spirituality करो, so sleep, spirituality, avoid SOS, use SOS as smoothie, salads and soup, social service, so all these seven steps, seven S for a healthy life I'm propagating as an elderly man, and I have that right because when they, it comes from me at this age, people take it seriously. My consultation lasts for one hour. मैं बलता हूँ, मैं डॉक्टर नहीं हूँ. मैं फाइल स्ट्रीट नहीं करता हूँ पांच मिनट में आपको भगाता नहीं हूँ एक घंटा होगा तो मेरे पास बैठो एक घंटा बैठते हैं जाते वक्त पैर पड़ते हैं ऑपरेशन के बाद किसी ने पैर नहीं पड़ा वो बोला इसने ऑपरेशन किया पैसा दिया पब्लिक हॉस्पिटल सो मेनी ऑपरेशंस एट थ्री इंस्टीट्यूशंस my book is now coming up, thanks to our Gosumek, Prabhu, orthopedic surgeon. He has asked his popular Prakashan, Bhatkars. So the book will be coming up. Lai Bhari. Lai Bhari. Lai Bhari. That book is coming up. And one in the pipeline, Himalaya Chi Shikre. 32 personalities with whom I have interacted in my life. Right from the kingdom of Bahrain to the Swamiji's, to Vijay Merchant Bhai who came to Akola for me. And in the Rotary world, he used to say, I have never seen a thorough Rotarian, not only gentleman, as Madhav Chaudhary as governor. Because he knew what is all about Rotary and science, what kind of leadership comes up. Can they lead by example? And Vijay Bhai always considered me as a true example of service above self. So all the honors that I got from different organizations and all that, it is all Gita. कर्मण्य वाधिकार तुम्हारा अधिकार है कर्म करो फल कैसा मिलेगा कब वैन 
हाउ इन वॉट मेजर इन वॉट फॉर्म ये आपके हाथ में नहीं है पर मिलता तो है जरूर इसी इसी लाइफ में मोक्ष इज नॉट स्वर्ग स्वर्ग मुक्ति इज वाइल यू आर लिविंग फ्रीडम फ्रॉम वरीज एंगजाइटीज डिसीज स्क्वेलर हेट्रेड एंड एवरीथिंग दैट इज मुक्ति ऊपर जाके क्या होने वाला है जन्नत में क्या है मुझे पता नहीं है वहां क्या होता है क्या नहीं राइट हियर यू क्रिएट एटमोस्फियर ऑफ स्वर्ग बिकॉज वॉट यू डू अराउंड यू यू क्रिएट ए स्वर्ग अराउंड यू सो थैंक यू फॉर फोर एपिसोड आई एम गेटिंग ए गुड फीडबैक फ्रॉम पीपल दोज हु नोन मी दोज हु नोन थ्रू अदर पीपल आई एम ए स्मॉल मैन ए स्मॉल टाउन मैन ऑल टाइम बट द स्मॉल टाइम पीपल गिव मी लव एफेक्शन I am son of the soil, live in a non-toxic atmosphere, in every sense, and therefore, a man who has lived as a Krutagna life. Thanks for your Ortho TV and you to think of this person at this age to be able to share this simple life before people who care to understand what you can make of yourself. God has given you this wonderful machine, your health, your sanskara. and your environment everything cannot be genetic epigenetic is also equally important so don't bother in which capacity you are born which family you are born you can achieve what you want to achieve with the blessings of god provided you understand that he resides within you if you understand the divinity within you that realization unless it comes you are not what you are because these are all the external thing ये तो सब बाहर से सब है तेरी डिग्री तेरे एक्विजिशन तेरी प्रॉपर्टी तेरा नाम फेम दीज आर ऑल द सेकेंडरी थिंग वॉट इज विद इन यू इज द डिविनिटी दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग पोजिशन ही इज वॉचिंग यू ऑल अलॉन्ग आई कॉल इम माई भिडू दैट हाइयर सुप्रीम पावर का एक भिडू मेरे पास बैठा है रोज टॉक टू हिम एवरी डे टॉक टू हिम इफ यू आर रॉन्ग टेक हिज एडवाइस पॉज थिंक and act thank you for making this happen four episodes i do not know how many of them watch sometimes i see the figure it doesn't matter if you can change even one man's life your life is worth it about i always felt it is not what you are it is not what baliga was if he created like me not only a good surgeon may good soul a man with theory that you are only a trustee of what you are got मेरा बैंक बैलेंस ज्यादा नहीं है बॉस मैं गुडविल बहुत है दैट इज व्हाट मैटर्स इन लाइफ अदरवाइज ए सर्जन इज ऑल एसोसिएटेड विथ एवरीथिंग ही इज गॉट नेम फेम एंड ऑल दैट इन द अर्ली फिफ्टी एट्स एंड सिक्सटीज पीपल यूज टू विजुअलाइज ए सर्जन विथ सिगरेट इन हिज माउथ विथ ए चिरूट और ए पाइप वन आर द डेज ए सर्जन इज जस्ट ए पर्सन हु इज ए टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट ही हैज गॉट द नॉलेज द टेक्नोलॉजी हैज गिवन यू ऑल द स्किल्स एंड ऑल दैट बट रिमेंबर he you heal you create wounds god heals it unless you go with that attitude unless you pray our hospital was one of the first one in the country to have temple we had maruti as our deity even the muslims used to worship and milin being a ardent follower of lord krishna and gita he has constructed a krishna temple there so don't forget your ego can be submerged only by feeling that you are he tells you that nimitta matram bhava he talks sabve sachi arjuna but he can also tell you nimitta matram bhava nana sahib jo bhi kar rahe ho tum nimitta matram ho main tumhare haath se karwa raha hu kat putli hai aap with that attitude you feel you live with contentment your wife support in your life in all your activities in real sense sah dharma charini if you are taking saptapadi my wife wrote down wonderful saptapadi it was meant for the man to understand how to treat his sir dharmacharya she is not a second place she has given you the burial treasure of your own flesh and blood children so i got three children all of them are doing extremely well in their life but what you have to give is samskar kitna paisa dete ho baap pata nahi lakh rupaye denga lakh ka 12000 ho jayega you them samskar that is how they will go about this so thank you thank you those who are going to watch it in future four episodes of this man's there was a series in england this is your life human andrews he used to collect personalities make them talk about them and let people understand 
what they are, how they have reached to that position. Thank you, Asim. Thank you, Ashok. Thank you, Niraj. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir.